All right. Uh, first, first of all, I just wanted to start with my thanks to organizers. I mean, we kind of getting to the end of this summit, so I just wanted to say a uh, big thanks to everyone who organized this. Uh, I know, like uh, uh, things like this, uh, sometimes they look simple, but like just to get all the people together, just uh, really like make sure all our busy schedules align and everyone is physically in one room. It's it's a big deal, right? And then the lunch was great, so that's uh, <laughs> it's also important. Uh, so um, and uh, yeah, sorry if I will be doing right. So I'm like not professional speaker, so but I'll I'll try not to do it. Um, so this presentation is supposed to be presented by Tamrat, uh, one of the geospatial directors from S S3, but he was not able to make it. So Monday he told me like you're gonna present it. So like give me slides at least right? so <laughs> so um so we working with s3 for quite a long time so some of this is um in in, in motion so i'm not going to cover everything that that we, we built but this is like most relevant stuff uh, as of today um so i'll be talking a little bit about i3 as explorer and then uh, loaders 3.3 3.4 .3, and 4.0 contributions and uh, we'll cover a little bit of tile converter. And once we're done with this presentation, there will be my presentation. So you kind of stuck with me for like 15 minutes, I think. So, um, but uh, I hope it will be fun. Uh, so I3S Explorer, I don't know, like if uh, I, I don't know if uh, anyone tried to use it. So this, all right. So we have two users, three users. Nice. <laughs> so then, like uh, everyone who didn't use it. Uh, you guys should take a look at this. Uh, it's, it's public. You can just go to the link, I3S Loaders, um, and uh, just start playing with this uh, tool. So this allows you to really like first visualize multiple um, data sets, I3S and 3D tiles data sets. Uh, so you can just take a look just how the data looks. And then it gives you ability to debug. So you really like can get all the debug data. You can see um, if like if if um, if there are some mistakes in the data. So it's a, it's a pretty useful tool to really like um, uh, fix uh, your data and find some issues. Um, so uh, let let me show you. So the comparison, right? So the cross layers, three D tiles versus I three S. So you have a screen. Uh, divided in two parts, so you like really like um, uh, can have like I3S or 3D tiles loaded on one side, and the other data set loaded on the other side. Um, this is quite important when you do the conversion, right? So, uh, so if you're not aware, we built a converter that allows you to do to convert I3S data sets to 3D tiles, and the other way around. So. Uh, like obviously, uh, there's like a lot of standards. You know, all the data source sources are a little bit different, so you will see some mistakes after the conversion. So this tool helps you to do this kind of final touches and uh, to see where you where you have problems. Um, so compare compare within a layer, right? So uh, here you just pick a layer and uh, see all the statistic data and see how things um, uh, look. So the other feature that we just added is a comparison bookmarks. So you pretty much can store your camera position and, uh, and uh, then you can load it back. So it's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty convenient, uh, pretty easy uh, to use. I mean, one of the future feature will be more like uh, to share those bookmarks seamlessly right in the tool. Simple, but like simple, simple feature, but we just, we just um, go uh, as fast as we can have debug bookmarks as well. Um, so, I mean, you can pick different like layers here, you know, like I'll, I can show you a quick video so you will, you will understand uh, a little bit more. So, so we just added Vipsyn support and Argus bookmarks for those people who really like uh, working with Argus tools. This could be pretty nice um, addition. 
and uh, we've got a white team, right? So like some users ask us to have a like white team, so it looks pretty, pretty clean and nice. Um, so we've just added some navigation UI, navigation help. Yes, again, uh, the story of this tool, it's like built for engineers right from the beginning. So UI was never a focus. So we've done a lot of UI cleanup on this tool. It looks much cleaner. And now you have um, additional uh, navigation UI and navigation help. All right. Uh, so again, if you didn't use I3S tool, it just go and play with this, right? So you don't even need a video. You just go to the link and just get your data, upload it, and, um, and play with this. Have any questions? I mean, be very friendly. So you can always contact us or S3. I'm pretty sure it will be faster to contact us if you have any questions or any ideas. What other features are you missing? So, so this is in a collaboration with uh, S3. So we will be working together with them. We have a big backlog of things. Uh, but again, your your feedback and your ideas are always welcome. So please. Um, so I uh, already mentioned tile converter, very powerful uh, tool. We keep uh, improving this. Uh, so you can just go to Odors Trail Docs Modules Tile Converter. Uh, there's a documentation how to use it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so we are keep maintaining this thing, and uh, we will adding additional features, support of additional extensions, additional formats. So like, for example, for 3.3 loaders version, we added the split nodes um, kind of option. So we can uh, really like uh, support GLTF a little bit better. So like here you see on the map with split nodes on, you can see like this building, I think. And uh, you see here, you, you're missing some texture. So this is one of the features that we fixed, like we added uh, in 3.3. Um, uh, so another like uh, improvement or like or like option, right? So we added like an instant node writing option. So for those users, like uh, we've got some feedback that like uh, some uh, some users just uh, cannot work when they just do the conversion. So. Um, because like it's like heavy RAM usage. So we, we've developed this um, conversion option where you can convert and uh, we will be just uh, using hard drive. Um, so it will be much slower, the conversion itself, but then you, like as you see, the RAM usage is uh, significantly like um, less, so you can do something else uh, with your like laptop or computer. Uh, but uh, of course, you're sacrificing on uh, uh, conversion time. But like, if you're not in a hurry, then you just can just run a converter and uh, just just do something else. Uh, so um, this is the list of additional small and not so small uh, features that we supported uh, in the recent 3.3 release. Um, so I mean, I, I'll not go through all the details. So I mean, I. I think the slides will be shared after the presentation, and we also have the documentation. But um, uh, you know, like, so this 3D tiles content GLTF uh, was pretty important for us to add. And as you know, like as format evolves, formats evolves. Uh, so you can have those kind of extensions that you have to support if your data set, set uh, of someone's data set is using those kind of extensions. They not support it, so when they convert you're going to lose some information. Uh, so those are the gaps that we're fixing and we continue fixing. So this was important. And right now, I think uh, this 3D tiles content GLTF is a, now is a, is a part of um, uh, tiles, 3D tiles 1.1. So this extension become core. So now we have to, we, we, you know, we have to support it anyway. So, um, so for three loaders 3.4, I mean loaders 3.3 release, you can use it. So for 3.4, we added a few more features. So I mean, not as like cool, but like important the documentation. So we spent some time to to clean up documentation uh, examples. So you just can go and uh, see uh, like a new version of documentation. But we also like keep supporting some additional uh, kind of. You can call it corner cases, but in some cases, those are important corner cases. When like uh, one of S3 customers 
they just had all the data using this uh, triangle strips and like when you convert the particular data set, this was like not, not working well for them. Where like maybe for, for other customers, it's like completely like uh, not important. So, so we added this support of uh, triangle strips in 3.4. Um, and uh, we right now we're working on 4.0 loaders uh, release. Uh, number of features here. So um, this will be released pretty soon. Uh, so like things, like as I mentioned, we keep supporting additional uh, formats and extensions. Uh, so 1.13 details will be supported in loaders 4.0. Um, so we keep working on different uh, performance and usability optim optimizations for uh, tile converter and um, also like thinking about usability, right? So, I mean, the first version, like 0 0.1, was very simple, right? So it's like you just run a script and just hope that it's going to work. So now, like, we, we want to inform users right at the beginning that, for example, the data set that they have will not be, uh, tra tra like, um, kind of converted properly because uh, we, we, we find some stuff in the data that we don't support. So instead of waiting for like five hours, you'll be like immediately like told that it's not going to work, and this is what your problem is. And uh, also, we'll be giving you, you know, like a progress bar. Everyone likes the progress bar, so you 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 will have an idea when your conversion will stop and stuff like that. So, um, so this is coming. Um, additional features um, for i3s Explorer. Uh, this is TBD again. We have a big backlog, um, so keep sending us your ideas. Uh, but this is the latest that is on the top of backlog for today. As I mentioned, like exception and error handling, um, you know, like uh, support for non-rectangular textures, um, some some other stuff here, um, and uh, for tile converter and loaders. A few additional features that uh, uh, we have in mind, but again, also like uh, let us know uh, if you really like need something. Uh, it could bubble up in in our backlog then. So, so one interesting feature, which is good for RGIS users, is this: like we're gonna integrate this uh, tile converter into like Argus Pro Marketplace. So you will have this ability in the Argus UI to launch it, right? So, because right now you, you have to uh, use like CLI, which is kind of fine, but like uh, now it will be more embedded in, in their product. Um, yeah, and by the way, like one feature that I think I didn't mention, uh, but developers told me that to mention it uh, is uh, this one, right? So, um, so yeah, this one, so offline conversion. So now you can download all your dependencies Right at the beginning, there's like additional kind of command line, like in, in, install dependencies. So you just run install dependencies, and then you don't need like, you can go on a plane and converting like your tiles. So, um, all right. So I'll stop here uh, for the first part. Any questions? Anything, guys? You would like to, you know? And thanks for using this. Uh, <laughs> thanks for using the tool. Um, so we like really like passionate about this, and um, uh, paying more attention to UI now, as you see, to make it easy to use and uh, convenient. So I still want to see you to show you the tool. But, uh, give me one more second. Right. So yeah, you can see there's no audio. I just asked guys like last moment, uh, since I didn't know that we're gonna present. Uh, at this part, so they just recorded a quick video, so I don't need to like uh, upload any any data. Um, so this this gives you a little bit of a feeling of the UI and the functionality. But again, don't hesitate to to contact us. We we small but uh, proud consulting company, so you guys can always reach out to me or like any of my colleagues. So yeah, here you see the example of bookmarks. So you can save and load bookmarks. So very convenient. So here, I think he's trying to down, download the bookmark. 
uh, so so you always can continue from where you started and um, let's see it's a quick question the bookmark yeah. does that like contain the URL of the file that you're working working with um, so so my understanding is that yes and also it's like camera position but again like yeah, that's really cool because yeah. sometimes I get bug reports and people say like, "I'm looking at this mesh and it's blurry," and yeah, it's so what, like, what, "Well, yeah. good for you," you know. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I just can't do anything with that. Yeah. But if you can have some way of sharing it, then this is actually really yeah useful. Yeah. Yeah. That's the idea, and the sh sharing is is pretty much it's a ability to like to to have like a remote like teams co collaborate with each other. So here you see we comparing three like two data sets, San Francisco 1.6 and 1.7. So this is uh, you can see some statistics about um, uh, the data, and you can start comparing. Um, and uh, then I think here, yeah, you can you can save this uh, com um, comparison bookmarks as well. Um, And I think the next um, they, they're trying to show compressed and uncompressed comparison, so you can see how memory is used. So he's turning on compressed geometry, and um, here uncompressed, uncompressed on the right side, so you can see the, the tile memory use is like 10, 10 x more or less. Um, uh, if you working with uncompressed. Data. So, so that's the idea. Like, play with the tool. We'll keep improving it, um, and uh, uh, that's that's pretty much it for S three part. Ip, anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, yes. I mean, it's obviously. I've seen you guys working on this for a very long time together with S three, and so it really has has come far. And uh, I think you know, I mean this entire tool is in it's open source right it's not a uh, yeah and so initially it was just a showcase for load l but now i think we we talked about you know um l being mostly frameworks and then we have kept gl but but the reality is we have kept gl we have flow map blue and now we have this this should almost be like a top level i think uh, it really given the the huge interest in these 3d tile data sets and how complicated they are to debug i mean this is um it's an incredibly handy tool, and there's no reason others shouldn't be able to contribute to it, right? It's, uh... Yeah, 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 definitely. And uh, S3 is a big supporter of open source communities, so we got the support. Um, so, yeah, and uh, you guys also feel free to contribute. I mean, we we, we are not like owners of Loader's Trio; like everyone can go and like add some additional uh, formats and uh, additional things and contribute to this tool as well. All right, uh, so let me move then to the next uh, presentation.